So cubism is something that started happening when artists wanted to change the way people thought about um, space. And so they started, um, like for example, if they wanted to make a portrait or a picture of a person, um, usually there would be the face and the shoulders and then a background. But in cubism, they were changing the idea of there being a main idea and then a background. So they kind of mix the background and the foreground together um, by breaking up the picture into shapes with geometric angles to them. Um, so that it was now really hard to tell what was the main idea of the picture and what was the background. Um, all of a sudden the whole paper was all jumbled up into different shapes. Um, and sometimes they did this with portraits or sometimes they did it with landscapes, but usually there was a specific image that they were trying to portray that they kind of scrambled up and mixed up and then they broke it into angles and shapes. Um, so if you want to get inspired by cubism, you can um, decide on a subject like you want to do a portrait or you there's a certain place outside that you want to draw or paint and then um, you want to break up the image into shapes so much um, and use angles and um, corners to draw your picture and break it up so that it's hard to tell what the background is and what the main idea is. Um, and you also wanna use expressive colors. Um, so be mindful about what colors you choose and what emotions or feelings or moods the um, colors and lines and angles that you're choosing are expressing. So if you wanna get inspired by cubism, um, you can use those techniques and ideas.